Hello, welcome to the Thursday, November 18th, 2021 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Fort Walton Beach, Florida. Researchers from TX1, Trend Micro, Cyclone DNS, and others have taken a look at the Data Distribution Service Protocol, or short DDS, and surprise, surprise, they found vulnerabilities in the top six implementations of this protocol. The total vulnerabilities being made public so far are 12 and some of them may lead to arbitrary code execution. So first a little bit about DDS, why is it important? Well, it's important because it's often used uh, for Internet of Things and industrial control systems. A number of large vendors, for example, Siemens are using uh, this uh, protocol. The idea of the protocol is that you have a standardized way how devices are able to send information about themselves or information that they're collecting to a network and then other devices are able to request that information. There are a number of options how this can happen. Like for example, the data could be formatted in XML or JSON. The information exchange could happen over a network using TCP IP, could also happen via UDP or directly in memory. Out of these 12 vulnerabilities, five are actually related to the XML implementation, including one vulnerability that's uh, related to an unmaintained XML library used by the particular uh, vendor. One of the vulnerabilities is also specifically to uh, the standard. So essentially uh, the standard has to be updated in order to fix that vulnerability. Since the affected systems here are usually industrial systems, so this is not a home system or anything like this that we're talking about, you should contact your vendor if you believe that your organization is using any equipment that is taking advantage of a data distribution service or the DDS protocol. And talking about vulnerabilities in IoT devices and industrial control systems, Forescout Research Labs took a closer look at the Siemens Nucleus TCP IP stack. They found 13 new vulnerabilities. The most severe one has a CVSS score of 9.8 and it's of all places in the FTP server implementation and a simple stack-based overflow in the user command for FTP. Two additional buffer overflows in the FTP server as well as a vulnerability in the DHCP client also earned themselves a CFSS score of 8.8. This particular TCP IP stack can be found in some medical devices and probably your best bet here in order to identify devices if you aren't sure maybe some passive operating system fingerprinting using a TCP. And yesterday I mentioned this website that had a nice compilation of vulnerabilities in home routers. Well, they have a new vulnerability to add here, a stack-based buffer overflow in Netgear's implementation of the universal plug and play protocol. In a blog post by Krim Security, you'll be able to find lots of details about what's went wrong here and how to potentially exploit this vulnerability. Of course, UPnP hopefully should not be exposed to the outside. So that may prevent mass exploitation of this particular vulnerability. A number of Netgear products are vulnerable. Best to refer to Krim's blog post for a list. And as I say, regularly check for updates for your routers firmware. Well, that's it for today. So thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow.